Yo, what's up everybody? It's Drew Barry and we got a new location in Marvel Snap, a new featured location. This location is Vormir. The first card you play here is Destroyed. So again, another Destroy synergistic location for Marvel Snap to help out your Destroy decks. Um, kind of fitting with Null, right? That was like the, the, one of the latest cards. We did actually just get two other new cards. You might not have seen them yet because I don't think many people have them in Sentry and Darkhawk. But a few things to note. One, this is just the first card. It's not every turn. It would say that if that were the case. So it's just the first card that you play there. It's a sacrifice. You have to commit one card that you play to get destroyed. And from there on, you can play more cards at that location for free. You've paid the toll. Which honestly, I think makes for a pretty cool location in Marvel Snap. It's like, are you willing to pay the price to try and win Vormir? Or do you just not play there? Do you just go for the other two locations, let your opponent pay the price, and uh, see how it goes? Now, it might be a price worth paying because we can actually set up our deck, as you might imagine, with some destroy synergistic cards and then actually profit off of the destroy mechanic from Vormir. So I have a couple of cards here, one from each pool, and then a couple of other ones that I want to mention first. For instance, I want to talk about Wolverine. Um, if you're in a very early collection level, like under 100 or anything around that range, you don't have a lot of cards that are going to actually benefit from being destroyed. But Wolverine is fantastic because it allows you to test the location. You can throw Wolverine out, he gets destroyed and goes somewhere else, but you've paid the toll and you can now play cards freely at Vormir. Or another option is to just straight up play Armor. You play Armor, her ongoing effect is going to nullify the destroy mechanic from Vormir, essentially just making it so that it's just a plain old location, doesn't do anything for you, and you can set up your deck with Spectrum and all those ongoing buffing cards, or maybe some big cards that you wanted to protect with armor in your set. So those are just a few extras, but then I have the three here. Nova is probably one of the more notable ones. I think it can be played at any time that you want. Anytime you want to get that benefit from exploding him and getting all that power out to your other cards, you get to choose when, because it's whenever you play a card there. Now, if you do play a card there, then you're going to have to find another means to destroy Nova. So you're going to have to wait. It might even be worth waiting until turn six to play Nova there and commit eight cards at the other two locations and that essentially makes nova plus eight power on turn six and you have five energy to do something else kind of a sneaky play that might be worth considering uh, another one is bucky barnes easy you know that you have to destroy bucky barnes to get value from him right you want the winter soldier so you get it for free with vormir win and then we got deadpool which is probably the craziest one i think it's going to be recommended by everyone it's just nuts because with deadpool it's all about how many times you can destroy him and it feels really bad sometimes if you don't get your first destroy of deadpool until like turn three or four or something like that well vormir if it's a location on the field it's going to guarantee a, a destroy on turn three at the latest so you can at least maybe destroy him a couple more times afterwards you can even play ford and then deadpool right on turn three at vormir so you get the buff plus destroying him in the same turn that's key which brought me to this deck right here so you have death to get discounted null to get really big from the Deadpool destruction over and over again and we buff him with Forge and Hulkbuster. I even have Taskmaster to copy him if he gets really big and then turn six we can play Taskmaster and Deadpool if we don't have Null. And then you have Magic to extend the game a few more turns to give us even more options, more things to do. And then the Carnage, Killmonger, Venom, and then Nova, Bucky Barnes, all that kind of basic destroy synergistic stuff. Uh, so it's a really fun deck. I love uh, Deathpool as, as this is famously named as a deck to just play around on ladder uh, and i think this location just fits it beautifully uh, so i think this is a really strong deck for the next couple of days if you have some of these cards if you don't you can put in things like wolverine just to hit the trigger of vormir i think that's the important part here you can just tech in a wolverine if you're early on in your collection and you'll be set all right so those are my quick thoughts on this new location uh, but let's get into some games to check out if it has a sick animation cool sound effect and uh, if it's a fun one let's find out all right, let's go. I'm always excited with new content in Snap. Like, new cards are super exciting, but you never know when you're going to get them. But we always get the new locations. That's always for free, so that's always exciting. Squirrels, not exciting. But not bad either. Especially if I get Killmonger. That's actually kind of fire. I'm here for it. Oh, <laughs> an Ant-Man too. Let's go. Oh, okay. I always like to see if there's an animation or a sound effect in it. 
Oh, and then it cut out. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of a buggy sound effect, but still, nonetheless, it's got like the, gr the, the, the glowing pink ring. I'm here for that. That's all my thumbnails, basically. Okay. Oh, and look at that. It lets you know that you're about to sacrifice something at Vormir. I love that. All right. Well, let's just set up Forge in case we can draw Deadpool. That's ideal. He's going to throw out Ebony Maw. Oh my gosh, Killmonger would be fire here too. I'm here for Killmonger. Mirror Island. Venom. I'm actually willing to wait. I can wait a long time here. There's three cards that I would like to see drawn. So far, not getting them. He's going to Cosmo up. All right. Death as well. How long do I want to wait? How long am I willing to wait? Oh boy. I can't even destroy these guys with, with Carnage anymore. He's going to get, continue to get value over here. I'm actually going to wait past turn four. This is crazy. He just sacrificed Warpath. What a savage. Why do you sacrifice him? I'll get Magic the buff. Still not feeling good about things. I didn't draw Killmonger or Deadpool. He's going to Iron Man on the left, which is a lot of power, but it's a good thing we're not even going for it anyhow. Actually, probably should be in a good spot at Limbo. Don't need that much more power. Killmonger is insane. Insane. Which I probably want to do it last turn, right? What can I get destroyed that would give mucho power? I don't even know. I want to save Killmonger for the end. So I could just throw out Null at this point in time. Which also is kind of insane. And actually throw it out at this location. And I'm going to destroy all these things. This is nuts. This is actually going to be nuts. We passed four turns and I'm pretty sure we're going to win this. I'll even snap. Let's see what happens here. I'm putting out Null and then we're going to Nova Killmonger. I might even put Nova at the Vormir location. To just trigger the destruction. Okay, he's going to go Captain America and Mr. Fantastic. That's not the best, but it's really not the worst. I think we got this guy... He's done for. Okay. What do we what's the best line of play here? Cuz we're going to destroy the Nova anyhow. So do I want Let's put the Nova to get destroyed right off the hop. Oh, maybe not right off the hop. I'm conflicted. I'm clearly con conflicted here. Okay. The key is to win the left and the right. That's the way I see this playing out, okay? I actually enjoy the thought of having plus four power, even though that doesn't merge. It's good that it doesn't merge. Because we'll play uh, Killmonger to destroy everything. And then destroy with Nova on Vormir as the ultimate sacrifice to give all my other cards plus one power. Destroying all this stuff. Check this out. Check this out. This is going to be sick. What did he do? Spectrum? That's pretty nuts. That's pretty nuts. I don't know if that's going to do it though. Let's find out. Look at all the destroy. Look at, look at, look at Null. And then Nova gets destroyed. Oh, this is anticlimactic. What's happening? Oh no, it's just like that, that fighting the warrior falls where there's this really long delay. Oh, there he goes. He's destroyed. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was sick. That was sick. Guys. That was nasty. He leaned so heavy into the one drops though. Really set up that Killmonger play. That was my nicest Killmonger play ever, I think. And then the Null getting up to 33. Beating this Iron Man. Oh my gosh, he doesn't even have a card at Limbo. Oh, yes. I love it. And the Nova plan. Waiting until the end and then playing Nova as the first uh, payment for the toll at Vormir. The sacrifice at the late game, not the early game. Very interesting use uh, of Nova here. All right, let's get into another one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I 
I'm actually, I'm actually still shook. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool. I, li I like this one. I like this one. I also like destroying decks. So, hey, that's just, that's how it is. Okay. Commence destroying Deadpool. We'll just do it right off the hop. Turn one, baby. Boom. Get destroyed. Oh, but I hate this, though. Ah. Oh. They got to test these animations or something. I hope it's just my client, like the, the Steam client. I hope that's the case. Oh, Bucky, why? Oh, you're going to let me draw cards, huh? Sure thing, buddy. Wait. Is it? Is it the first card every turn? I don't think so. Mojo. Deadpool. Nova. Oh, no. It just gave me this animation, but I was like, I'm pretty sure it's just the first card. Oh, my goodness gracious oh my days this is going swimmingly the only thing is i need to destroy this guy another time which honestly i'm kind of more into that with my hand right now look at it keeps giving me the warning sign there's some visual bugs here it keeps telling me that the first card you play here is destroyed um but i've already completed the toll i've already paid the price at Vormir and it's not going to kill Hulkbuster. Honestly, I wish it would because Hulkbuster would merge and then destroy the Deadpool. Uh, but that's not going to happen. It's only once per game. You have to pay it once and then you can continue to play cards there. That's my understanding anyhow. All right, this is crazy. We got Deadpool at 12 already and he costs a zero and I can put him here and do this. Are we serious right now? I can even destroy him one more time with Killmonger. This is a wrap. This game is over. This guy should just get out of here. That's pretty cool, though. That's a very cool Sarah, I must say. Oh, my gosh. This this is going to be a rage quit moment right here for him. It's got to be. Because not only... I'm also not going to trigger the mojo because I have enough power. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's so... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. What is occurring at this moment in time? Okay, okay, yeah, do that. Oh my gosh. We're gonna destroy Nova again, and then I can Taskmaster? Oh my gosh, or Null, I don't even know which, what, what ends up be, being better. It's probably, I don't even know what ends up being better. Probably Taskmaster, honestly. Taskmaster, Null, Deadpool. I could have magic to even prolong things even more, but why bother? I, I doubt he even stays. I'm pretty sure he leaves right now. And if he doesn't leave now, he's probably going to leave after I destroy this next Deadpool. Man, this is a very fun deck, by the way. If, if you're not in Series 3, it, 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 you can't really quite do some of these things. Like, Null's not, Null's not necessary. He's the new shiny thing for the deck. But, you know, like, Death is kind of necessary a little bit, I think. Deadpool, obviously, is 100% necessary. It's what the deck's built around. Um, but it is super fun. I hope people get fun cards like Deadpool earlier on uh in their in their series journeys okay i think he's gone i think he left he's really disappointed or he's thinking a lot no he's just thinking a lot okay dude dude 52 zero cost 52 ronin what's up what's up my dude oh my goodness It's insane. It's insane. Look at this. I'm, I'm going to snap, but he's... You know, I'm not even going to snap. I'm just going to let it happen. Because he'd probably retreat. And so far, he's been thinking he has a chance. But he doesn't. I'm done after this. I'm walking away. I'm going to bed. This is crazy. This is just too much. This is too much. I can't get back-to-back -back games that are this epic. I just got Deadpool 52, Taskmaster 52, and a free death. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. He's gone. I'm gone. This this location is sweet. I really dig, dig Vormir. I think it's pretty cool. It is only one card that needs to be destroyed for the game. You pay the toll. You are good to go after that. I'm pretty sure it would work with armor where you can protect and it wouldn't destroy your armor. 
usually that's how it works at like dust domain and stuff like that i think i don't know it could be wrong let me know in the comments below if you find any sweet combos with this location always let me know in the comments because i want to try these things out in the next week in the next couple of days it's going to be a future location it's around for 48 hours so it's important to build your decks around it so you can get those cubes anyways thank you so much for watching guys and i will catch you next time